Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and into another weekly uh, lunch video. Um, for those of you guys who are new, I do have several people that are new and that are watching these videos, so I just wanted to give it a rundown. Um, one of my children, I have three boys, one is 16, so he don't take his lunch, but um, I have a 10 year old and a five year old, a fourth grader and a preschooler. Um, he just turned five. So that is the age groups of my kids. Um, if you're new here and you would like to, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the school lunch videos, please give this video a big thumbs up so I can continue making them. Okay, so today is Monday and it's the week of Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and send the leftover themed Valentine's Day goodies. I've been doing kind of Valentine's Day for a couple of weeks now um, leading into Valentine's Day. So first things first, we're going to send one of these shirts. Berry Finn Kool-Aid Jammers. I think I've said before that I prefer the water ones that you can see inside of them, but since it's strawberry and colored Valentine's Day-ish, we'll go with it. And then this is a Danimal yogurt drink smoothie, and this is Cupid's Cherry. Is it going to focus? No? Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Cupid's Cherry. I don't know about my camera. There we go. Cupid's Cherry. Um, and that is just, a, you know, a Danimal cherry flavored peanut butter and jelly. Jack has grape. I am sending along two of these little wafer cookies. Um, there's just two in there in the pack in orange. And some of these trolley sour bite crawler minis this is an actual valentine day candy um and then these are little um x's and o shaped pretzels and i thought they were super cute so i went ahead and added one of those i made up treat bags and so some of the treat bags um have these things in there and this is just the leftovers and Liam of course has the same exact thing except for he's got strawberry jelly on his because that's what he prefers and that is what we're having for lunch today guys um I will check in with you guys later and show you what they ate hey friends today is Monday after school and as you guys can see the kids ate all of their lunch and that was Jack's and this is Liam's. He ate all of his as well. So there you go. One lunch down, four more to go. We'll see you guys in the morning. Hello friends and welcome back to Tuesday's lunch. Today we are having wraps. This is just ham and cheese inside here with a little bit of ranch. Um, and I have cut the smaller six inch ones in half. Liam's only going to eat a half of a one, so I'm just sending a half of one with him. And then I'm giving Jack the other half because he'll eat that much probably. Um, we are sending some another one of these Kool-Aid jammers. I think that that's the last of them, so we'll see. Um, and then I just made a little bit of a fruit cocktail here with pineapple, strawberries, blackberries. There's some raspberries in there. Um, so yeah, my kids love fruit. And then I'm just going to send some pretzels and a cherry, cherry moo tube. This one here is from Aldi's. And then this is just uh, the Black Forest Valentine Heart Gummies. And like I said, Liam's having the same thing except for he's just having a half of one. But everything else is the same there. Say hello. Hello. Go brush your teeth. Thank you. Um, and yeah, guys, that is what we are having for lunch today, which is Tuesday. And I will check in with you guys after school. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Tuesday after school. And it looks like my boys, again, ate everything in their lunch boxes. Liam ate his gummies after school, but ate everything else. There's a couple little pineapples in here in Jack's lunchbox because he doesn't really like pineapple too much. But all in all, great day for my boys. 
course you guys know my kids eat pretty well. Um, they're not really that picky. Anyway guys, we will see you tomorrow. Good morning friends and welcome back to Wednesday's lunch. We are having French toast per the boys request. Um, Liam really requested it. I don't know how well they'll eat this out of their lunchbox like this, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. My kids have never tried it before in their lunchboxes. Of course, they've had French toast, you know, like on Saturday mornings or whatever, but they haven't had French toast in their lunchbox. And so I just put in one piece cut into four little like strips in there. I put three little sausage links in there. Um, some syrup and then I have some you know berries my kids love berries of all the fruits they rather have berries so there's raspberries blackberries and strawberries in there and then I have one of those little one of these guys the little cupid danimal cherry drinkable yogurts and then for treats today I'm sending in a two pack of Oreos you can see I have used I have put treat bags together for their classrooms and so I have a few left over and there's just two little cookies in there so I'm going to go ahead and send this along as a little valentine and the same with these. I bought two big old boxes of these to go into treat bags and these are just what we have left over so I'm going to include those in there and I'm just going to send a regular water with them to school today. No juice box. There's kind of a lot going on here. So I figured I'd just leave it like that. And then Jack, of course, is having the same thing, except for he's got a lot more berries. His uh, uh, drinkable Danimals there, a water, and the cookies, and the little sour mini crawler Valentine's Day treats. So this is what we're having. Like I said, I have not tried these on my kids before, so I am not sure how well they'll eat them. Somebody asked me in my last video, I specifically chose these lunch boxes for a reason today. This, along with the red ones that I always use, are from Good Bin. Um, this container and their square red ones that I always use are from Good Bin. And these little sandwich containers and snack containers here are from Dollar Tree. Um, for a buck, I usually get like one of these for a dollar and then two or three of these come in a package for a dollar. You can't beat the price. They are comparable to the Systema brand. Um, I have never had one leak on me. They are really affordable. Like I said, I would much rather buy these for a dollar and if they end up getting cracked or warped in the dishwasher or anything like that, I don't mind throwing these away. These bad boys and the square red ones that I use all the time are like 10 bucks a pop. So I would prefer to, um, you know, not lose these. This year, I bought this one specifically for Liam, who is my five-year-old, thinking that it would help keep things uh, in place a little bit better for him. He's not one that likes his food touching. Um, but I found that I have used the other bin, the other Good Bin Red Boxes more often this year and these more often this year than this guy. Um, I might next year go to like a Yum Box or a Planet Box or something like that. I haven't quite decided because uh, Liam here is in preschool. Um, he turned five like a few days after the cutoff date for kindergarten. So he'll be going to kindergarten next year and Jack will be in fifth grade. So I'm not sure, you know, what I'm going to decide over the summer. I'll make a decision on which boxes I'm going to use next year. But like I said, if you're on a budget and you like things that are very inexpensive, then these are definitely the way to go. I bought four green ones at the beginning of the year and then I just now bought two of these gray ones and two blue ones like this, um, some like royal blue ones. Um, and I can't say that I'm disappointed. The four original green ones I bought, I cracked one and warped one in the dishwasher so I just replaced them. But I mean for a dollar, even if it lasts half the school year, in my opinion, it's worth the money. So anyway guys. Now that we got that out of the way, we will see you guys after school. Alrighty guys, this is what my kids ate today. They ate everything of course. There's Liam's. 
and it looks like Jack left a couple berries in there and a couple of his sausages but overall they both said that they really really enjoyed it I don't know where these came from they must have come from the school anyway uh, we will see you guys tomorrow hello guys and welcome back to Thursday it's Valentine's Day y'all so I'm keeping it kind of simple kind of spoiling them a little bit they're both having Valentine's Day parties so I am just gonna be sending the last and this time I'm serious it is the last uh, little kool-aid sharkleberry fin drink I am sending one of these little Kinder Joy um, little eggs I don't know why my camera doesn't like to focus. There we go. Um, and this is just the Star Wars ones. And then I'm sending this little sweet guy in for their Valentines from Mama. An orange, a yogurt tube, and inside the thermoses will be um, chicken alfredo with heart pasta. Um, nice and hot in there so I'm not going to open it back up but we had it for dinner last night and so they wanted leftovers so that's what's in there. Chances are they probably won't eat half of this stuff because like I said they're going to be eating candy and junk and stuff all day long but this is what we're having for lunch today. It is Thursday. I hope everybody's having a happy Valentine's Day and we will see you guys after school to see what they ate. Hello guys and welcome back to Valentine's Day lunch boxes. Looks like my kids ate everything. Looks like Jack ate everything but his orange and Liam ate everything. Uh somewhere. Wait for your dad. Yep. Anyway, kids ate everything for lunch. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello friends and welcome back to Friday. We made it to Friday y'all. Thank the Lord. Yes indeed. Anyway this is the last Valentine's themed lunch you will be seeing from this girl. Um, and it's a fairly simple one because it is Friday after all. Valentine's Day was yesterday so we are just, they got these in their little Valentine's Day goodie bags. So we are just going to send a strawberry chocolate milk for each of them. We are sending the last of the yogurt tubes, peanut butter and jelly, mixed berries. Um, Liam also got this in his little Valentine's Day treat. So we are sending that along with the last Nutty Butter treat. And then Jack is having the same strawberry chocolate milk, peanut butter and jelly, yogurt tube, and instead of the Nutty Buddy Bar, he's having these wafer cookies, and instead of the Cheez-Its, he's getting the pretzels with the berries. Now, this is going to wrap up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these Valentine's Day goodies. Um, and I hope you guys had a fantastic week. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button before you go. And if you want to be notified of my future videos, to so go ahead and hit that little bell icon so you can be updated as to when I post. And as always, guys, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you guys next week.